Welcome back nail queens. In today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing and review of the Jade Plus M series Melody Susie e-file. They sent this to me for me to unbox and review and like show you guys, test it out, all the things. So I'm excited to do that. This little thing is tiny but mighty. I actually like that it's small, like the size of my palm, which is really, really neat and different from other e-files I've had in the past. Also, I am sick right now, so if my voice sounds a little off, you might be hearing my throat lozenge right now. I'm so close to my wedding and I cannot be sick for this. Oh my goodness. But anyways, back to the review. It comes with your standard e-file bits, but it also came with an extra one. Look at this one. This, I already put it in the handle. So it is a standard, I believe, medium grit ceramic drill bit. Um, it also came with a little handle rest, so if I wanted to put this hand piece somewhere, I could just rest it on here instead of having it on my nail surface. But it also has a little hand piece rest clipped onto the side of it. It also came with this gritty, hunky, little chunky guy. Um, I have never used something this, like, coarse before, so I'm just not gonna take that one out. But... I might in the future try to use it. Anyways, I have this e-file stand from Liquid Layers and I'm going to see how this fits in it. And it actually fits better than any other e-file I've had before because it is smaller. So it just fits super duper easily, um, but the handpiece is also easy to grip, which I like because some e-file handpieces can be like too large and harder to grip. And it just makes like it's too weighty and uncomfortable and things like that. But I'm just going through and maneuvering the e-file, turning it on, moving the switches from forward to reverse. So you just turn the little dial to turn it on and off and increase the speed. Or if you want to switch from forward or reverse, you just change that little um, switch right there. So the handpiece has a lock and unlocking position on it and it goes up to 35,000 RPMs, which is I think believe I believe is the highest speed I've ever seen on a nail e-file before. So it is pretty pretty cool this tool and it's not loud, which I like as well. So what better way to do a thorough first impressions and review than putting this to work? So I did this mani right here and I have two marbled nails that I just need to smooth out a little bit. So I'm gonna change the drill bit attachment that I have in here to a dr different drill bit attachment so that I can just smooth out the dip powder. I really, I have them applied as press-ons with sticky tabs. So I don't wanna sit here filing and buffing with a hand buffer or hand file. So that's why I opted to use an e-file in this case instead. So I'm putting the speed to about 11,000 RPMs and I'm putting it in the forward position. I'll move it out of the way so I have some space and the dust doesn't fly on top of the e-file. And I am using a dome bit ceramic bit. I love using these kinds of drill bits because they're considered safety bits. So it's less likely that the drill bit will come in contact with my skin and less likely that I will nick myself. The ones that came in this kit, the ones that were provided, while they probably are great, I know I have in the past nicked myself because they have pretty sharp edges. So if you're not familiar with using an e-file, I highly recommend getting dome bit drill bits just to make sure that you are less likely to hurt yourself when using an e-file. So far, it's moving pretty well. There's no friction. There's no pausing or stopping at 11,000 RPMs. I don't apply a lot of pressure with my drill bit on my nail, on my nail enhancement. But, um, so I just wanted to show you guys that. And if you listen to the sound of the audio of the e-file, you can tell it's not going like very loud. It's not disruptive. It's not annoying. So I really appreciate that. I don't know if it's because it is a smaller e-file that it just doesn't sound as loud as my previous e-files have sounded in the past. And also the hand piece on this doesn't weigh as much. So I think it has something to do with the fact that it is a smaller e-file. They probably made the hand piece smaller as well so just some things I wanted to point out if you have a smaller hand this might be something that you might want to pick up over your standard large size e-file uh, because it is 
it's just a smaller hand piece. It's not as heavy, so it holds really, really well um, in your hand and you don't have to worry about it being so large. And it's just a tiny little cute e file. I just love the color on this. It's funny because it matches my nails. I'm like, oh, hey. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna finish up here. I'll finish um, doing the final touches and I will be right back. Okay, so I am gonna pull out my buffing block and just smooth out the surface just in case the e-file left any like ridges or things are not perfectly even. But luckily I don't have to do as much as I normally would have had I not used the e-file in this instance. So just a quick little dusting and I'm gonna pull out my hand file as well and just fine tune the shape here. This is the Revel Nails like white files. I know they changed the, I believe, no, they didn't change the grit on these. They changed the grit on their other ones, which is disappointing. But these are really, really nice. They're very, very soft. Um, they're not gritty, gritty. I, I don't know the grit on them, probably 240 if I had to make a guess. So I really like these hand files if I need to do some fine touches and tuning, but I don't want to literally take off a lot of product. But all in all, I think this e-file has worked great and served its purpose and I love the color and how small and compact it is and how it works still with my e-file stand. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!